the slaw there. Well, that's a pretty sticky situation to get yourself into. Now, I've got a big heavy vehicle with a heavy trailer. And my mate who's traveling with me, he's only got a small light vehicle. How's he gonna winch me out? There's a couple of tips I can show you if you get in this situation. Going on, mate? Yeah, mate, I need a winch. <laughs> can you winch me out? Yeah, I'll give you a hand, why not, eh? All right, <laughs> send the winch down. There you go, mate, grab that. You good there? Yeah, we're good. All right, mate, I'm ready to go. Radio winching commences now. Well, moving forward. This truck's too heavy for this. Uh, you're pulling me forward a little bit here, buddy. So there's the problem. The light vehicle is just getting dragged towards the heavy vehicle. So here's a little trick that you can use to help you get out of this situation. All right, Jesse. Go and reposition your car up in there, mate. We're gonna use one of those paper bark trees as a stopper for your bull bar. Now you wanna stick this part of the bull bar up against the tree. This is the strongest part of your bull bar right here. Straight ahead, straight ahead. Perfect, hold it there. All right, mate, take up the slack. Radio, mate, we're ready to go. So now, the big vehicle, the heavy vehicle, is starting to winch out, and the light vehicle is held against the tree. And the same thing can work as well. If you've got the big heavy vehicle that holds the winch and the light vehicle doesn't have the winch, then you can use that as a recovery point. You're almost there, mate. And there you go, you're out. Right here, mate, we're all good here. All right, mate, I'll just drive out. And that worked perfectly. 